What's up guys? I'm so excited to share with you today the actual introduction of Project Gersey. Uh, some of you may have seen it on Facebook. I haven't posted a ton about it because we've been working so hard behind the scenes on other things and I'm just excited today to show you guys kind of what we've been up to. Um, up until today we'll show you some footage about when we picked the car up. Uh, we actually, I found it on Facebook Marketplace and so uh, it was a really good deal. I paid $12.50 for it and it had a front end uh, collision so it had some front end damage. We checked it out, the car fired right up when we when we went to check it out, it went into gear. So with that being said, that kind of sold me on the price of $12.50. And we knew that we could get this thing running with just a little bit of help from our partners. And today I'm super excited because we have everything we need to get this thing pretty much back on the road. Uh, today we're going to be focusing all on Mishimoto products. So we're going to take you guys along, um, show you what we're putting on today. And hopefully before the sun goes down, we'll have Project Z fired up, ready to cruise around the neighborhood. Uh, it does need some body panels that we're waiting on, but that's for next time. So yeah, check this out. We'll show you guys what we did earlier and then what we're doing today. All right, so to start, uh, we're actually working out of the garage, the garage. And uh, to start, we're gonna throw on the um, radiator core support, which is right there. This is the original that came off the car. It's got a little bit of issues to it, but we don't really care enough to, to buy a new one. This is a very, limited budget build because um, it wasn't in our plans to buy another car but we got it so I'm gonna bolt that thing up um, thankfully Jason uh, Insane Power was able to straighten our frame rails out we had to uh, weld the new one on which you guys probably saw and now we we're able to bolt this thing up it it aligns perfectly so big thanks to Jason at Insane Power if you guys are in the Vegas area be sure to check out Insane Power um, they've They've been a huge help to my entire race program, uh, my street program, pretty much everything I do. We see those guys every day. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to throw this thing on, bolt it on, and then next we'll get into the um, fan shroud and the radiator. And so we'll get all that hooked up. All right, we just pulled out the Mishima radiator from a new box. Um, we've got a little bit of the front end on the car now. We've got the radiator course board in there. We've got the power steering's all hooked up. I tossed the left headlight in just because there's like two bolts. So we're gonna put this in, and then also for Mishimoto, we have our fan shroud, which is going to be awesome. This is a direct fitment just for the 350Z. We've got a lot of other applications, so go check out Mishimoto.com. I'm gonna get this all bolted up and put it in the car. Alright, so we got the Mishimoto fan shroud, fans, and then the Mishimoto radiator. You can see there there's tabs on the bottom of the shroud that go right into those tabs on the radiator which makes it super easy to put together and then there's also a spot for bolting this on and uh, we're gonna get this bolted up and then drop it in all right we are all bolted up I'll show you guys here so that is all good really easy Mishimoto even supplied the hardware which is awesome guys got to check them out. They make a lot of awesome products for a lot of different cars. Got some uh, hoses, radiator hoses that we're going to be putting on too. Anthony is getting the old ones off and we will be replacing those. Decided to go with blue ones because, I don't know, we've always done black. Never really did a color. Didn't want to do red. So we went with the blue. We'll be replacing this one, this one, which is the same one as that. And I'm hoping we are replacing this too because this is not what's supposed to be there. So anyway, Anthony's working on that one. Gonna put this one in. They're nice too, they've got branding on them. So you know you got the quality Mishimoto parts. Oh my gosh, there's so much more to do, but we're gonna get it done. The sun is still up, we're jamming, and uh, haven't even eaten any kind of food yet, so might take a little bit of a break. All right, we got it in. Easy peasy. Much better than the old one that was in there. Anthony got the, uh, I guess that's like a return hose. I don't really know what that is. I don't know these motors, so whatever. 
Um, we got this lower radiator hose that's going to go on, and then the upper is here. So I am going to put those on now, since Anthony got a phone call. You can see the difference, OEM versus Mishimoto. Uh, the other one, I don't know where it went. Anyway, going to get these hoses on. We got blue, looks good. Radiators in, fan shrouds in, nice clean fitment. Looking good. So we'll get these in, and then we'll give you guys an updated look. Alright, so here's the top view. Got my hoses on. I think this is the uh, overflow. For the overflow. I just gotta find it. I don't know. It's somewhere... I think right, right there. So, gotta throw that on. And then we're gonna get rid of this intake. I don't know if it's OEM or not. I think it had a little cute filter on it. There it is. There it is. The messy garage. Had that on there, but we're going to throw a brand new Mishimoto intake. It's going to look really good. Um, so yeah, I'm getting it out of the box over here that I already ripped up. So we'll get this out of the box and get it on the car.